those of you in the, in the uh, church, if you ask to keep uh, pictures to the moment possible, and as well as turn your cell phones either off or on your phone to help the quality of the live stream. Uh, thank you. Moment. We have gathered together in the presence of God, John, Andrew, and Mom, in the sacrament of marriage. On behalf of Christ and His Church, we welcome to you, you. I welcome your family and friends, those united with us, with us through uh, life's giving. Amen. Yeah. 
from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, let mutual love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of the prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefined. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have. For he said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, and I will not be afraid. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
expecting, especially in the day like today. And you won't be disappointed, because maybe it won't be actually three hours, but maybe it will feel like three hours. My name, my last name in Polish means Gypsy, Sigan. So if I wander around like the no man in my family, I know that Father God said, well, look, to real be back in. Certainly a very unique time in our church right now. A unique marriage set of ceremony goes with this weird time that we're living in. The fact that we're not forced to congregate like we used to for the protection of the common good because of the coronavirus. I know that we have the wonders of technology and YouTube live to unite us together during the coronavirus. Believe me, I'm not pretty good at talking to a camera the past few days. Certainly a very unique time. Difficulty with having a limited amount of people here in church, and we all know that if we could have had whoever we wanted in this church, it would be a very happy church today. Before today's mass, and for the past couple of days, all I could think of was that scene from Braveheart by Mel Gibson with the clandestine marriage. You know the scene where William Wallace and his beloved wife, Vernon, because of English oppression of Scotland at the time, they had to get very clandestine. And when I was preparing this comedy, I had no idea that people would be tuning in from Scotland But I just gotta say, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool to be a part of this today. But regardless of what our surrounding situation is, or that we are limited by how many people can come together today, today we celebrate the one fact that God is running Emma and Andy in the sacrament of marriage. And we rejoice in the love that God has instilled within them. And the prayers and support of so many people watching online here at the Fuse, it's all very powerful. We're not just here because we're celebrating a young couple in love, but it is so much more than that, as can be seen by the careful preparation of today's mass. The fact that it is important to celebrate this marriage in the church, in God's house, in this beautiful church of St. Mary of the Cataract, and the scripture reading that you chose to Show a depth of your love for scripture and a depth of your love for God. You didn't just choose the popular first Corinthians passage, love is patient, love is kind, love is jealous, love is not jealous, which is a very beautiful scriptural passage. No, you chose a very unique scripture to read. A passage from Tobit where Tobiah and his wife Sarah prayed to God on their wedding night. The selflessness of the marriage of vocation, as seen in the second reading from the letter to Hebrews, and the call in the Gospel of Matthew, where the wedding couple to be the salt of the earth, the light not in the way, the city set on a hill, to point the way to Christ. There are other ways that there has been thoughtful and deliberate planning of this mass. Celebrate the beautiful tradition of our faith by celebrating the Mass on Lorienta, the way that the priests have celebrated the Mass for centuries before Vatican II, or the fact that we receive the Eucharist today, where Jesus the bridegroom becomes one with us. If anything, in this time of the coronavirus has made us all realize that the Eucharist is a precious gift. And a privilege. So we see that what we celebrate today is not just romantic love, but an echo, a reflection of God's love for us, and that He wants to be one with us. Now, here's my obligatory mention of St. John Paul II and his theology of the body or the theology of the human person. That the sacrament of marriage, the love that is professed and promised today, is a reflection of God's love for the church. You 
Here we go. We have come together in the house of the church, so that in the presence of the church's minister, unity, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord to the sacred seal. Christ found and blesses the law of the Christ. For a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated.
and declare himself before God in his church. And through the new taking of God to be a wife, we promise to be faithful to her in good times and effect, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life. I do. And Mom, do you take Andrew to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and death, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? I do. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen and send you and declare before the church and graciously bring you through his blessing to them. What God joins together, the dawn of the sun. Let us bless the Lord. Bless the Lord these rings, which we bless in your name, so that Andrew and Emma who wear them may remain entirely faithful to each other, abide in peace in your world, and live always in mutual charity for Christ our Lord. George Fair, Lois Simpson, 
they need to carry out their vocations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the holy people of God, and for nearly the Maha Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, pour upon this husband and wife your graces and blessings and the spirit of your law to make them one heart and one soul. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to ask Andrew's Godmother, Angels, and his friend Michael.
Cuidado até. Church and 
Recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body of one of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one Spirit. Like 
adorned with wealth and graciousness. Bestow in the blessing also the Lord upon the man through your servant, that he may be worthy, good, and faithful husband and brother and father. Grant, Holy Father, that desiring to approach your table as a cup of joint in marriage in your presence, they be one they have to join in taking part in the great thing.
rejoice over our doing, but rejoice in the truth. We wish you the kind of love that bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things.
Yes, I think everything went great.